This project uses AWS Copilot for automating a containerized web application deployment on Amazon ECS. In this video, we're gonna build this architecture step by step. Our project consists of six steps, as listed here. To implement the project in this video, please ensure the following prerequisites. Check out the video description if you need assistance with any of these prerequisites. First step. Clone repository. In this video, we're gonna use the Spring Pet Clinic application as an example of web application. The Pet Clinic application is a popular application, often used as an example for testing technologies and concepts. In our repository, you're gonna find a web version of the Pet Clinic application. Notice the Docker file in our repository. This Docker file is not present in the original repository in the Spring Pet Clinic GitHub. To clone the GitHub repository, open your terminal. Choose a folder and type the following command. Go into the project folder and check if project files are present. Second step. Set up an application. In this video, we use AWS Copilot to automate the infrastructure provisioning and to speed up the web application deployment. Copilot is a tool provided by AWS for supporting developers on building, releasing, and operating containerized applications. Throughout the process, Copilot delegates the role of creating cloud resources to AWS CloudFormation. In this step, we use Copilot to create an application. ECS, the container service, uses an application to group related ECS services. In the project folder, type and run the following command for creating your application. The final parameter represents the application name. You can check the application is properly created by typing the following command. Copilot creates a new folder within your local project folder. When you initialize an application, Copilot creates an entry with your account information in AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store. Type and run the following command to check existing parameters. Then, use the parameter name to check the parameter details. IAM creates a set of roles that are used to manage AWS resources on your behalf. Type and run the following command to list CloudFormation stacks. We use a filter to list only stacks that are successfully created. We can use the stack name to identify the resources created in that stack. The resource type parameter shows that two roles were created. Third step. Set up an ECS service. In this step, Copilot uses the Docker file in your local project folder to set the ECS service configuration. In addition, you should set the service name and type. During the service setup process, when Copilot asks if you would like to deploy a test environment, answer, no.
Different from the previous step, no infrastructure is created in AWS during this step. However, the configuration input is used to create a manifest file. The manifest file will be converted to CloudFormation templates that will be used to create cloud resources later in the process. Type and run the following command to check whether the service is properly set. You can inspect the manifest file copilot created in your project folder. Use your favorite text editor to open the file. Please refer to the official Copilot documentation to better understand available properties for the service manifest file. As before, Copilot creates an entry with your service information in AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store. Fourth step. Deploy an environment. An environment is a set of AWS resources used for a particular purpose. For instance, testing your application, or delivering your application in production. First, we need to create an environment with the following command. Name your environment. Set the account you're gonna use. And configure the base infrastructure of your environment. Notice we use a default configuration. Therefore, Copilot will create a new VPC with public and private subnets, and other network resources. Wait while Copilot creates AWS resources that will support the environment deployment. Type and run the following command to check whether the environment is properly set. As in the previous step, the configuration input is used to create a manifest file describing your environment. You can inspect the manifest file copilot created in your project folder. You can customize your environment by editing this manifest file. Again, copilot used AWS CloudFormation to create cloud resources on your behalf. You can use the stack name to list cloud resources created in a particular stack. In addition to IAM roles, your environment is supported by an ECR repository for storing your service image, an S3 bucket, and a KMS key. These are all regional AWS resources. You can use the AWS CLI to further investigate these resources. Now, we can deploy the environment with the following command. During this process, CloudFormation creates an entire new VPC. Private. And public subnets. in two different availability zones. 
Internet Gateway. And few other resources. Wait until your environment is fully deployed. You can use the AWS CLI to check whether the VPC is properly created. Fifth step, deploy a service. In this step, Copilot deploys our web application as a Docker container in an ECS cluster. Type and run the following command to start the deployment process. First, Copilot uses the Docker file to build a Docker image. The Docker image contains the web application. This web application requires several dependencies. Therefore, the image building process may take several minutes. Second, the recently built Docker image is uploaded to an ECR repository. The ECR repository was created in a previous step. The upload time depends on your internet connection speed. Therefore, it may take a while to complete. Next, several AWS resources are created for supporting the application deployment. Because we chose a load balanced web service as our service type, our underlying infrastructure consists of an application load balancer, a listener rule, and a target group that targets our container, and ECS resources, including cluster, service, task, and a Fargate running container. Copilot keeps us updated on the deployment progress. When the base infrastructure is provisioned, our service is deployed. When our service is available, the state transitions from pending to running. Now, you can see that the service is deployed on our environment. Type and run the following command to check the service details. In the next step, we're going to use this URL to access and test the web application. Last step. Test and clean up. In this step, we're going to play the role of application users accessing the web application. To test the application, we need to retrieve the public DNS assigned to our load balancer. To do so, type and run the following command. Open your favorite browser and paste the load balancer URL. Now, you can use the Pet Clinic application. After testing, we can terminate all resources created in this video. Type and run the following command to delete all resources Copilot created in previous steps. This process may take several minutes to complete. You can check the application is fully deleted by listing existing applications. You can also check there is no CloudFormation stack available. Finally, we can see there is no existing clusters.